I dreamed a dream in time gone by. I love that song. It's a, it's a sad song. To say that Les Mis is a highly decorated show is a major understatement. The stage show is now the world's longest running musical, seen by more than 65 million people in 42 countries. The movie version of it last year was a hit, too, and was nominated for eight Academy Awards. Yeah, and this Thursday night, you can see it on a stage close by because Greendale Community Theater is putting on the show through August 3rd. Tom Reifenberg is the theater's co-founder and music director, and Bob Benson is the actor who plays Jacques. Thanks for being here this morning, no gentlemen. No problem. Pleasure Thanks to be here. Yeah. So exciting. So uh, this was a huge deal. Over 250 actors auditioned for, what, 44 roles? We had 250 people from as far away as Grays Lake, Illinois, and Kewaskum, Wisconsin, come to Greendale to audition for our show. Wow. 44 roles. Why do you think that process. is? It's, it was such a big draw. Is it, is it part because of the, the legacy of the show? I think, yes. And I think because we were one of the first ones to, to get the rights for it. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they just came out about six months ago that amateur theaters could do it, could do this production. And so we had 250 people come, and it was quite the process to find guys like this to, to play these lead roles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so exciting. So how did you end up casting him as Javert? What was it about his audition that stood out to you? Uh, his, his vocal talent is amazing. Bob is, Bob's outstanding. We're very lucky to have someone like Bob in our cast. <laughs> He's Much that better like, than Russell yeah. Crowe. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what we were joking Russell about Crow. during the break. <laughs> Wait, like, can he sing better than Russell Crowe? Because in the movie version, I was disappointed, and I'm not a singer. Everybody was pretty disappointed. Yeah, yeah. but it's a big role. I mean, I think, you know, playing a villain, um, yeah. I think, is, is kind of tough, but he's a very kind of complex character and has a lot of singing to do in this production. Absolutely. Uh, I think the interesting part about the character itself, you, you said he's the villain, and, and if you look at the character, he really didn't do anything wrong. He's just enforcing the law. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the fact that we've labeled him as the villain is very interesting to me. Mm -hmm. um, I, th I think through the course of the show, though, he... he becomes the villain because he is so obsessed with yep. catching this character that um, it, it, you can't identify with the good traits that he does actually have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played Javier before? I have not. Really? This, so this, this is, is your first, first time? time. Yeah. And he's really excited about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I believe really it. Excited about it. <laughs> Why did you want to, uh, want to audition at Greendale? Um, like Tom said, it was it was the first uh, area theater that that was able to get the rights for the show, so it immediately had that draw. But there's something special about Greendale Theater in in how they do give back to the community that made me want to be part of it as well. Mm -hmm. Have you been in past productions at the theater? Not at Greendale. Um, okay. I do some theater down in Racine County for the Racine Theater Guild, and I'm very active there. Actually, I sit on the board and and was a pa past vice president, but again this show you know has that appeal and has that draw and the theater itself because of the way they do give back to the community it, it, it was very attractive to me as an actor That's yeah great. Tom talk a little bit about that how do you because you really believe you you're redefining that community theater and how you give back to local charities what, what exactly do you do we started that about four years ago I think now um, and we model it after the there's a Within broad, in Broadway, there's a group called Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS, and they do it every, I think, January. And theaters around the country ask their patrons for donations to, to help fight AIDS. Mm -hmm. So we actually did that back in 2009 when we were doing Rent, and we chose, I think, the AIDS group of Wisconsin, the AIDS Foundation of Wisconsin, to give money back to. And we thought, let's do that for every show that we do. Choose a charity that fits the production that we're doing, and help give back to the community to sort of redefine community theater. So for this show, uh, we chose the Hunger Task Force. I was just gonna oh, say, wonderful. I hope it's gonna be something related yeah. to hunger because yep. it fits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it fits really well. And they're excited, so there's a little cross promotion. We promote them, they promote us. There'll be some Hunger Task Force representatives at every show uh, so that the, the patrons could ask questions. There'll be a table of information for them. So it's not just us doing theater for the sake of doing theater. It's also contributing to the community. Mm -hmm. What about, have you cast children in this production? Because there are some kids in the, in, the, in the original version. Yeah, we did, and they are awesome. They, they are, are amazing. They, they are, are 
They're very talented kids. Very yeah. talented. There are three three little ones. Um, uh, a little girl actually playing Gavroche, who's really outstanding. Mm. Uh, and then the young Cosette and the young Eponine roles. Okay. Is the, the role that you just mentioned first, is that the one he's like, when the pup grows up? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I love that's that gonna be one. a little girl, yeah, It's huh? a little girl. She's so good. She's incredible. She's oh wow, she's incredible. incredible. That's an Great. interesting decision. I like that. How long is the show? Uh, with an intermission, it's gonna push probably two hours, forty-five minutes, three hours. It's, it's a long it's show. It's a long show. It's a okay. long show, but if you give people a little break to go to the bathroom, oh, yeah, get absolutely. something to eat or drink, I think that's fantastic. Yeah, you've got a couple dates where you can see it at Greendale. It's the Greendale Community Theater going on this weekend, the twenty-fifth through the twenty-eighth. All shows except Sunday are at 7.30. The Sunday one is at 2 p.m. And then again, July 31st through August 3rd are the times that you can see it. You can call for tickets at 414-817-7600 or greendaletheater.org is the website to visit as well to purchase tickets there. Thanks so much and good luck with the role. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thanks for having Appreciate us. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.